Let's quickly just talk about why we'd want a parallel charge. Let's say I want to go flying and I've got my three flight batteries here, all 1300 milliamp hour 4S batteries or 1.3 amp hours and I've got my sole charger capable of outputting 3.9 amps to a 4S battery. Now all three batteries let's say are at storage voltage 3.7 or 3.8 volts per cell and I want to get flying as quick as possible. So I wind my charger up to maximum output. In this case, this charges about 3.9 amp maximum output for these batteries or for a 4S battery. So I start charging the first battery and uh, at 3.9 amps going into a 1300 battery means I'm charging at 3C rating. For argument's sake, let's say it takes 20 minutes to charge. Once it's finished charging, I unplug it, I plug the next battery in and set that up to charge at 3.9 amps. 20 minutes later, it's done and I plug the third battery in. 20 minutes later, I'm, all three batteries are charged. So it's taken me one hour to charge three batteries. So parallel charging would mean that I would plug all three batteries into the charger at once and split the charge current between the three. So rather than three times 20 minutes, it would become one times one hour. So I'd charge three batteries still in one hour, but all three would be on the charger for the whole hour. So the advantage for doing that, well, there's sort of two reasons. The first reason is battery condition. Charging at 1C or a lower C rating means your batteries will last longer. The second reason, which I think is more of a convenience factor and part of the reason I'd want to do it, is because I don't have to come back and change the batteries after each one is charged. So I can just leave all three on, come back in an hour and they'll all be done, rather than having to remember to come back, unplug one, plug the next one in. The basic principle of parallel charging is to split the output current into uh, a number of batteries at once. So in this case up to three at once. I can still charge one battery or two off of this or three. But uh, it just splits that charge current between the three and the charger believes that it really only has one battery connected. The sum of all the capacity of the batteries it's charging. Here I have two single port chargers. They're both capable of about 60 watt output. The one on the left here is a AC mains powered charger and this one here is a DC powered, so either car battery or another LiPo battery. Now this one on the right has a Hobby King parallel charging board. It's a 6S or up to 6S capable charge board and will charge up to four batteries at once. So it has a 6S balance port connector into the charger there as well as the main uh, positive and negative lead and uh, that will charge up to four batteries and it's fused between them. I think from memory it costs 20 to $25 from Hobby King. Now uh, on this charger I have a homemade item because it's only capable of charging up to 4S that other lead would have uh, required some modification to fit in there uh, and besides I wanted a, a smaller version and I only really wanted to charge 4S batteries so I made this one up. Check the video description uh, for a link to the video on how to make one of these and uh, this here will charge up to three 4S batteries. So I can't charge 2S or 3S or 5 or 6S um, parallel charging through this, but I can parallel charge up to three 4S batteries. The field charger here is charging a couple of 4S batteries in parallel here, uh, two 1300s and a 1000, all 4S batteries. So the rules of parallel charging are pretty straightforward. You need to ensure that you are charging batteries with the same number of cells. So the way I designed this plug or this uh, connector, I can only plug 4S batteries in. So that's uh, rule number one, only charge batteries with the same number of cells. Rule number two is that the battery voltage in each cell 
uh, and between the batteries should be pretty close. So all of the cells in these batteries were at 3.7 to 3.8 volts, so only 0.1 voltage difference between cells and uh, that makes them safe to parallel charge. It doesn't matter that they're different sizes. In fact, over here I have the mains powered, AC powered charger and it's parallel charging a 1500, a 1300 and a 1000. And uh, so they're all four cell packs. They're all between 3.7 and 3.8 volts. And so it's safe to parallel charge them. To calculate the charge current when parallel charging, you need to add the capacity of the batteries you're charging and uh, just convert it to amp hours for simplicity. So 1500 is 1 1.5 amp hours, 1300 1.3 amp hours, and a 1000 is 1 amp hour. So combined, they have a total capacity of 3.8 amp hours. Therefore, if I wanted to charge them at 1C, I would set the charger to 3.8 and that actually happens to be about the limit of this charger and with it set to 3.8 it will split the current between the batteries proportionate to their size so the 1000 milliamp hour battery will get one amp of current the 1.3 or 1300 will get 1 1.3 amps of current and the 1500 battery will get 1 1.5 amps of charge current if all the three batteries were the same size, then it's just divided and multiplied by three. It's pretty simple, but um, that's why it becomes safe to charge them even with different capacities. Because the charge current is split proportionately between the three batteries based on their size, it means that the charge cycle will be complete for all three at the same time. So on the charger here, the bottom right corner shows the milliamp hours going into the batteries and that's the sum going into all three batteries. As far as the charger is concerned it only has one battery connected. It has a 3800 milliamp hour 4S battery. And for safety I'll now put the batteries into individual LiPo charge bags.